Hi, this is Lucy and welcome to a Fallout 76 Building 101 episode. My last video was um, this house, the pop art house. And I built a new style of kitchen using some new techniques and I felt that including it in the video was not generally a good idea because after editing the video I was up to 45 minutes before I even started the kitchen. So I've decided to do the kitchen as a standalone video. So I will give you a quick tour of the kitchen. As you can see, I have used these modular mainframes to create a fitted kitchen and I have merged counters in as well to make it look like a proper counter and to hide the fact that these have these sloping sides. <laughs> it has upper units, it has a sink embedded in it as well and I have this breakfast bar with a grill or drainer, draining rack, whatever you want to call it. So I will show you how to build all of this. So let's get started. Right, first thing I'm going to do is put a foundation down. And if you see my merge video, you'll realize that I will be using this to do a foundation merge in a minute. Right. I will be taking the wall, wallpaper off this actually to start with it's so that we can get and I'm going to convert it to a barn wall it's just so that we can get a bit closer now the story behind this kitchen is that I don't know if you've noticed but you can turn snapping off of certain items now. Um, on a on a normal server. Um, and I did notice this and thought I had a clever idea. Unfortunately, the clever idea didn't quite work out how I expected it to. I have always wanted to be able to stack these and you can't because the snapping so strong but once you select it you can turn the snapping off and you can stack them up and I thought oh this is great I'll be able to merge two of these together to create a proper counter and use the camp widget To place them up on the wall. There was only one problem. These do not act like normal objects. These float. Now I pondered different ways of doing this and you could use the, the foundation merge I showed you but for this it's a bit more complicated because we will be doing a foundation merge shortly on it. So this is how I got the cabinets up on the wall. First of all, I placed one of these down as a guide. You have to make sure it's straight, which I'm doing a really bad job of. And the way I floated these was actually by putting them on two bookshelves. So I placed, I lined my bookshelves up with this. It's so that they look <laughs> like they're lined up. It is a bit trial and error. If you have your bookcase too close, 
they will not go on. Now obviously it's not touching the wall but when we put the wallpaper back on it should be much closer. We can now turn snapping back on. Now this one does not have anything underneath it so we need to put another bookcase down next to this one. And then we should be able to carry on to the end like this. Then we can take these bookcases away and we have these floating cupboards. To do the next part I am going to place one of these, I'm going to turn snapping off, I'm going to place one of these on the edge just as a kind of marker for now. Just trying to line these. I'm I'm probably not going to be as precise as I normally would be for speed. And we are going to get these kitchen counters out. And we are going to make sure that snapping is off, which it is. Sometimes you have to place an item to actually toggle the snapping rather than if you just select something from the menu. And what I did, because snapping is off, I was able to put two together like that. That one could do with going in just a little bit. Okay. Now you can turn snapping back on. and snap these like this. Now, we're going to remove this temporarily. We are going to convert this to a doorway so that we can lift this foundation up. And we're going to snap it out here. <clears throat> now, if you want to put the sink in, now is a good time to do it. Try and make sure it's straight. <laughs> Try and make sure it's straight. It's not straight. Right. Then see which piece it's attached to. It's attached to this piece. We are going to get our pressure plate out. And a mannequin. And we are going to merge the sink down. Or we'll try to, anyway. Come on. Oh, 
idea. She is not behaving today. Right, it's gone down. Finally. Right. Now. This obviously will not snap back in because of this piece. So we're going to remove that piece. Snap that in. Flame a trapper. Snap that one back, repair it, and there you have your sink. Now, we need this a little bit lower. We need it so that we're hiding the um, silver rim at the bottom. That's about the right height. So we are going to do a foundation merge. If you haven't seen this trick, I did put a video out recently showing how to do this. We are just going to lower this foundation like that and it will snap to that one and it will be in the right position. And the reason we did this is so that this will cover this and you'll only be able to just see the top. We're now going to flame a trap these counters. It will probably destroy the wall, but that's fine. We have the technology to repair it. Now, what you should be able to do is, it's not working. Ah, uh, you know what? Didn't actually flame a trap, that last piece back there. So if this happens to you, you know why. And I just repaired that wall, never mind should be easy to fix. Oh, you know what? It still hasn't. Right. It's going to be... I was thinking this is going far too well. <laughs> right. Right, now it's destroyed. <laughs> and the wall again. Right. Now, what should happen is you should be able to snap these red terminals over the destroyed cabinet and we're going to stick one of these in as sort of a broom cupboard we can take up the original one we don't need that one obviously you can do it over two walls if you want i did it over one wall these are quite resource costly um but yeah we're going to put the wallpaper back on the wall 
and we are going to go to our camp widget and repair everything. And now you have your kitchen cabinets. With the proper work surface. Obviously how deep you want these, if you want them right to the edge, that's up to you. To create the little breakfast bar unit here, I am going to be using these counters. I'm trying to make sure it's actually on this foundation. Obviously snapping is on for this. As you can see, I love these. They are really pretty, but there is a gap. I have actually, um, in the past, put floor mats over them, but the floor mats aren't actually straight. So and they're a bit grotty looking. So I thought I would use this. In my version, I did actually put a generator in here and it was an absolute nightmare. Because for some reason, and I've been having this problem a lot lately, when you flame a trap stuff, it is not getting rid of the wires. So it was a bit, make sure it's in the middle. I did find that if it was attached to the back one, which it is, that I could... No, it's not. <laughs> right? It's attached to one of the corner pieces. There we go. We're going to merge this down. Oops. Breaking my own cardinal rule. Make sure your reticule is away from the object you're merging down so you don't accidentally. Now, obviously, this will not go in. And this might not work, actually, because you need to be able to snap it back in. And I think that I am not going to be able to snap this in. Oh, no, I can. Right. If we flame a trap this now, I did actually think that this was intersecting too much with this. Just going to flame a trap this. And I really want to make sure I'm actually flame a trapping this part of the worktop, breakfast bar, whatever. Because if you just flame a trap, the grill, grid, whatever you want to call it, you will not be able to snap, you might not be able to snap on. But if you flame a trap, the object that it's attached to, it will vanish and you can get pretty much anything in there. So there we go. So that is the kitchen. I think it is one of the favourite, most 
It's one of my most favourite kitchens that I've built. I still don't think that sentence is grammatically correct. I'm tired and it's very cold. <laughs> I like the kitchen. <laughs> it's my favourite. <laughs> so here once again is the finished kitchen. I have decorated a bit. I hope you like it. I hope it was easy to follow. And I hope your flame trap worked better than mine. <laughs> Third time's a charm. So let me know what you think in the comments. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.